So the first thing to ask yourself is how secure is your home and can it withstand the tenacious, single-minded, scent-driven beagle? We've been fortunate that Smudge has never been successful in getting out, despite putting a lot of effort in. Um, and when we told the council that she had escaped the dog park, their reply was the first dog to escape would be a beagle, wouldn't it? Many a beagle owner we've met has a story to tell of their dog escaping and being well known at the dog pound. They charge per episode, so this can get expensive. So, you need to check that your dog cannot escape under, over or through anywhere, because if there's a way, your beagle is going to find it. Beagles have a reputation for liking food and seeking it out. This can be very helpful when training them, but there are a few aspects to also consider. Firstly, they'll be very interested in your meals, snacks, and any time you eat as well, and are prone to begging. So for Smudge, we have a particular spot uh, on, our, on our mat where she'll sit when we're having dinner. Um, she knows she'll get, she'll get some food for being good by being quiet on there, and, and that means she's not gonna be jumping up on the table or barking at us while we're, while we're eating. Secondly, beagles do have a tendency towards being overweight and there are of course many health risks associated with canine obesity so managing their food intake is an important aspect of beagle care. And thirdly, they will try to sneak any food left unattended or dropped onto the floor. They may try to get into rubbish, potting mix, compost, veggie gardens and be attracted to eating a number of things that aren't even food and can be hazardous such as coins, batteries, sharp items or insects. Be prepared to make your house as hazard free as possible, removing temptations if you can and keeping a watchful eye on your puppy in case they try to swallow something unexpected and potentially dangerous. And if they do, you may be at the vets for an unplanned visit. How much time can you commit to a pet? Beagles need care on a daily basis of up to two or three hours and no matter what the weather. Uh, care such as walking and exercising your puppy, socialising and training, health care and grooming, brushing, bathing, nail clipping, ear and eye washing, teeth brushing and any specialised care for example managing allergies. All these things take time, not to mention vacuuming up their shedded fur on your floors and furniture. How and where will you walk your dog? Beagles are scent hounds historically, bred to sniff out and assist humans to hunt. This aspect of their personality makes them invaluable working dogs at borders, but drives them also to sometimes run off single-mindedly tracking a scent, no matter where you are. Depending on the time you have for training and the personality of your dog, their scent hound nature may mean that your beagle may need to be walked on leash at all times when not in a secure enclosed area. We've done a video on seven things that we find helpful when taking Smudge off leash. I'll put a link up above for that. Will your beagle have lots of company? Beagles are pack dogs. They thrive in company from their pack or family and they get lonely by themselves. A beagle prefers to have another dog or one of their humans nearby for most of the day and separation anxiety is common for beagles. If this need isn't met adequately, this may lead to an unhappy pet or destructive behaviour. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Uh, and if you'd like to see more of Smudge's videos, then hit that subscribe button below and set the alert icon to all. Thanks for watching and we look forward to hearing from you in the comments.